take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Baking soda is affordable and non-toxic cleaning product, and its alkaline properties make it an effective cleaning product as well. Mix a cup of warm water with a quarter cup of baking soda. Run this formula through one cycle in the coffee maker. Flush the system with fresh water at least once or twice. The 6th of February 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. Pour baking soda into the coffee pot full of water. Then use a sponge or rag to clean out the inside of the coffee pot with the baking soda water still inside. The baking soda will help remove the coffee residue more easily. Dump out the baking soda water, rinse and add fresh water to the coffee pot. Point 9 October 2015. Let's help you make your mark. Mix one part, X, one cup, CLR to eight parts, X, eight cups, water, for 10 to 12 cup automatic drip coffee makers. Run through coffee maker as if making coffee. Dispose of solution once product has run completely through the maker, then fill entire pot with clear, cold water and run a complete cycle twice. Let's help you make your mark. That funny tasting coffee could be due to the coffee oils left behind by coffee grounds, or due to white, flaky mineral buildup from your brewing water. All it takes to clean your machine is a little dish soap and white vinegar. Yep. Even if you use a Keurig.3 September 2020. Take our lead. You should clean your coffee maker after every use, removing the grounds and cleaning the brew basket, lid, and carafe. The deeper cleaning of descaling to remove mineral deposits should be done at least every three months. Point two three June 2020. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.